back in the Bracken Beacons there today for a, a solo wild camp. Uh, it's uh, officially spring tomorrow. The weather's gorgeous, it's blue skies, the sun's beating down, but it's uh, a little bit windy. And um, I've never seen this part of the Beacons this busy before, and the car park is absolutely chock a block, and uh, I'm lucky to get a space to be honest. So yeah, I'm gonna head up to the ridge, which is that way, and I'm hoping to do a camp somewhere towards Penavan and overlook Penavan and Corn D. But uh, I spoke to a couple coming back down earlier, and they said it's pretty windy on top, so I might have to change my plans. But it all depends how bad it is up there, you know. So yeah, so stop off for. Uh, a swig of water and I'm going to make my way up there yeah but honestly there's just queues of people going up and down here it's, just, it's really busy today well that's where I've come from the path coming up to here um, and just below that ridge, uh, I get to the top and see how bad the wind is for myself, and then I'm gonna make a decision what I'm doing. on the ridge and obviously it's more exposed up here and the wind is it's blowing like a blowing a hoolie up here I'm gonna walk that direction maybe find something up the sheltered God, it's rough up here It's nice in the sun down there, when you come up here, different ball game. It's still beautiful though. Like I said, I'm on the ridge and the path is just over this little tent by here. And I've just come over from there and there's a bit of a, a shelter here. So what I'm thinking, if I can keep on going that direction and find a similar sort of thing to this, I think I'll be happy. So uh, that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to head that way and uh, see if I find something uh, a bit sheltered. I just walked up to that area to find a suitable camp spot, but I can't find anything. So, um, what I'm going to do is come back down the path down to the right. I found a suitable page earlier, I might just go back to that one. So, after all that traipsing around, I think I found the camp spot. It's not perfect for any means. Um, it's a bit sheltered, we've got a bit of a wall, a peat bog wall going around, going down this side. So we'll have to make do I think for tonight. I think it's a wind direction's change, the same we have in the east, we've had easterly winds all day, but now we're getting south easterly winds coming from that direction as well. So, yeah, we put the tent up.
Tent's all pitched up. And it's pretty typical. I've pitched down this little dip because of the wind and now the wind's dropped right down. So uh, I'm not sure if it'll come back all through the night. We'll see, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice, you know. We've got a nice sunset over there. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm hoping to get a nice sunrise on a time lapse over there. So I'll put my bed in, I will see what's on the menu for, uh, for tea. Right on tonight's menu, I've got a fire pot dehydrated chili con carne with rice. I've had this one before and it's really good. Um, I didn't want to mess around cooking food tonight so it's nice and light. Brought that. Um, I've got a couple of these, well, you know, they have IPAs and stuff and uh, this one's a, in fact a Denver milk stout. Never had this one before, give it a try. And also I'm going to give it a try on Mark's new titanium stove. It's a BRS 3000. And it weighs 25 grams. It's titanium, light as anything. Um, pretty reliable, so I'm told. And in fact, um, I was in Go Outdoors in Cardiff and uh, I was looking at the, the MSR Pocket Rocket because I was interested in one of those. So, um, I was talking to a customer and then he said, what stove are you looking at? I told him, he said, well, basically, he uses one of these and he actually has it with him because he was getting a gas bottle for it. And he said, they're brilliant. And he said, well, he recommended this and uh, he said, you know, why don't you try one of these? So it's £16 on Amazon, way next to nothing, so he, I'm, I'm going to give it a go. So it's Mark's stove when he haven't used it. I'll be the first to use it, so uh, I'm going to try it out now. Gotta be fair. That's bloody lovely. Really nice. Oh, it's nice that is. I do like Guinness actually, but um, obviously that's a stout. But this is it's really good. And some of these like craft beers, they taste really strong. And sometimes they're pretty harsh tasting, but this is lovely. This is really smooth, like. So I'll give that a solid 10 out of 10. That's absolutely lovely. I'll definitely buy that again. And bring it on future camps, I think. Yeah, so this is my first ever um, solo wild camp, uh, believe it or not. I've been camping for wild camping for two and a half years almost. And uh, Mark couldn't make this one. Um, Danny couldn't make it as well because uh, he had other things planned so it's my first uh, solo camp and uh, the weather's been bloody horrendous to be honest, the wind, I'm trying to find a camping spot here has been a bit of a challenge but it's calmed down now so I'm hoping it stays like it all night so I can get a good night's sleep like you know but that is beautiful So I've got my trusty down jacket on. I never leave. You know, I never leave home without it. Really, we can't when the camp is concerned because it's, it's my go-to jacket. I'll take it all through the year, in the summer, winter, spring, whatever it is. It's all. It all it's the first thing that goes in my bag. And I can't recommend this coat enough. And I've had it well ever since I've been wild camping, and I won't get rid of it. It's, it's brilliant. So. I fully recommend the mountain equipment light light jacket. Yeah, so I'm gonna have some food now. A couple of tins. And then settle down to watch some uh, some YouTube or something because I can get a signal, but it's pretty good. Cheers.
It looks like you put the right amount of water in there because normally I put too much in or not enough. Yeah, it looks alright, does it? Yeah, I think it's done. And you might be able to hear the wind's picking up again. Great. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy this. It's about 10 o'clock now and uh, I'm going to get my head down. I cannot wait to get to sleep. So tired. What a difference the day makes. Around this wind uh, yesterday and last night, and then we wake up to this. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't beat a sunrise. As always, leave no trace. <laughs> 